Time for weather news now. And Gertie, the festivities are probably in full swing in Campbelltown by now, I reckon. <laughs> They certainly are, Jane. It's the perfect night for a party. And tonight, the local Italian community is celebrating 50 years of Mercatos. And the store's always such a vibrant place to visit. And, well, you can see why. Right now, it is 25 degrees in the city. We hit a top of 30.1 this afternoon after an overnight low of 16.3. It was a dry day across the suburbs and further afield too, although there was some thunderstorm activity over eastern parts of the Riverland and Murraylands. It reached 33 in Renmar, 26 in Narra Court. A trough off the east coast is causing heavy rain and storms in southeast Queensland and northern New South Wales, while a high pressure system over the bites driving the clear and calm conditions here. Interstate 25 with more rain on the way for Brizzy, a very high chance of showers in Sydney, 26 the top, mostly sunny and 33 for Perth. Back home, hot and sunny for the state's far north. There's just a slight chance of a thunderstorm in the far northeast, 37 the top for Cooper Pedy and Roxby Downs. 38 for Maree, mild to warm near the coast, 27 for Sejuna, 25 for Port Lincoln, 30 for Wyala, 34 for Port Pirie and Renmark, 30 for Murray Bridge, 28 for Mount Gambier, and 23 is the top for Kings Code and Victor Harbour. And there's a strong wind warning in place for the lower southeast coast. In the city, a sunny day, heading for a top of 30 degrees after a low of 17. On Metro Waters, south to south easterly winds will shift southeast to southwesterly, then back to south easterly with seas below a metre. To the outlook, partly cloudy and 30 on Sunday, 28 with a shower possible Monday, 26 Tuesday and Wednesday, warming to 30 on Thursday, 25 for this time next week. And before I go, let's take a look at tonight's ray of sunshine. South Aussies certainly gave Adelaide's last remaining drive-in a send-off to remember. Led by Cozzy and the Adelaide Symphony Orchestra, drivers did their best rendition of the classic waltz. The final screening plays tomorrow after a near sell-out summer season. <laughs> A very fitting send-off, Jane. And before I leave Campbelltown, I think I'm going to have to go track down where that tiramisu went to. It looked absolutely delicious. <laughs> it did indeed. Not such a melodious send-off, but a significant one indeed for the drive-in. Well, that's all the news we have for now. I'll have updates through the evening. But for all of us here in the Seven Newsroom, have a great weekend. Good night.